Hey guys, and welcome to another FIFA 22 video, and today, guys, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a recap video on picking out some of my favorite Fort Hero cards that I've already reviewed so far in FIFA 22. We've got five cards in this video. I've been doing a lot of reviews uh, on these Fort Hero cards over the past uh, weekends. Thank you guys so much for the support on a lot of the videos as well. It means a lot. And I thought, that let's go back. Let's pick five of these cards that I've really, really enjoyed so far. Uh, all these five cards are within a reasonable price tag I've been able to afford. None of them sell for more than 500,000 coins. Uh, so I'm um, hopefully I'm not picking cards that cost like over a million or whatever. And obviously, you know, some of the cards are still extinct and EA needs to update their price ranges before I can review them. So hopefully they will do that soon. But uh, let's start off though with the first one, the 89 rated Jürgen Collet. Wow. I didn't think this guy was going to be that good at all. I thought he was just kind of going to blend into the, to the ordinary really. Like he, he'd be okay, but he'd be, he'd do nothing like insane. How wrong was I? First of all, his heading, he scores a fantastic header here, was superb from both attacking, defensive play, open play, and Gem was very good. His tackling, his strength was fantastic. That 90 physicality as well was really, really noticeable. His passing was very, very good. I put eight on the value for coins in because he's still linking to a team. Uh, being German and having the Bundesliga as the league and then I, I gave him a 9 out of 10 for the overall arguably could maybe even give him a nine and a half. very very impressed with him uh, Jersey Dudek was another one uh, one of the more cheaper uh, foot hero cards that you can get and I liked him I thought he was very good he was certainly a lot better than that 87 Campos card now I've seen a few people comments on this video apparently that 87 Campos actually has 85 finishing because I think at one point in his career he used to play as like an outfield player or whatever so yeah maybe I should just use him as a striker rather than as a goalkeeper now the good thing about Dudek is one thing I should mention short goalkeepers are terrible in this game just like that Campos card work because he's only like 5 foot 7 in height Dudek is so much more best he's like 6 foot 2 in height so he doesn't get caught out with stupid BS goals or whatever his diving and his, and his reflexes and those 90 reflexes were very very noticeable in game he was very good both a 7 on the overall and value for coins for Jersey Dudek and relatively easy to fit into a team being from the Premier League Fernando Morientes is another card 3 games 5 goals and 3 assists uh, I think he's the most expensive card Cards in this list will cost you anywhere, it doesn't matter if you're on PlayStation or Xbox, anywhere from in between what 330 to 400,000 coins, maybe even slightly more than that. But he was very, very impressive. Uh, I, I didn't think he was going to be as good as like a Diego Melito or someone like that. But he was. He was better than Diego Melito. Uh, his finishing is fantastic. I mean, five goals in the three games was obviously very, very good. I think he's got the four-star weak foot as well, which is obviously very nice. That 90 uh, shooting was, it was very, very noticeable. Uh, you know, his finishing, shot power, uh, long shots, all very, very good. His physicality was nice as well. Uh, he didn't get, you know, often he, he was barging opposition players. Uh, out of the way, his passing was decent as well. You know, to come in with eight goal contributions and three of those being assists and then five of those being goals, and to get the three assists linked up well with Mbappe, nine on the overall and eight value for coins for Fernando Morientes. And then once again, being from La Liga and being Spanish, uh, better than like he's easier than most cards to kind of fit into into a team. Now, the same can't really be said for Al Jaber in terms of how easy it is to fit into a team. But to be fair, we do have that ones to watch Taliska, which is a, which I suppose is good. And obviously, if you've got icons in your team, you can get a link there. But it was three games, four goals, and one assist with this card. Now, since I've actually reviewed him, he has increased in price. He's gone from like 75,000 coins up to around about 130,000 on Xbox. I'm guessing he'd be probably most cards on PlayStation right now for the Force Heroes anyway are actually cheaper than on Xbox. So I'm guessing he's maybe like, what, 110,000 on PlayStation or something like that. And he was good. You know, he, he was a fun card to be able to use. Yeah, he's from like an off nation, but he was really, really enjoyable. I mean, his finishing was very, very good to get four goals in the three games was nice. Uh, his passing was decent. That's why he linked up well with that Kylian Mbappe, who, by the way, has just secured me qualification for foot champs this weekend, which is pretty cool. But yeah, seven on the overall for Al Jaber. And initially I gave him eight on the value for coins, but now obviously with his price increase, I probably put that down. So maybe like a seven and a half on the price on, on the value for coins. And we finish with the 88 rated Mario Gomez. Now, I didn't think he was going to be that good at all. But he went on to score me five goals and get me one assist in three games. He was enjoyable. I just kind of thought that this car was going to be a little bit too clunky, a little bit too slow. And But obviously having one of the chem styles that I put onto him, I want to say it was the engine chem style. I might be wrong on that. I want to say it was the engine chem style. It makes the card, or maybe it was a catalyst actually, but it was definitely something that increased his pace and it made him not slow at all. Didn't make his pace look like, absolutely insane, but it didn't make him anywhere near as slow as what I thought he was going to be. Uh, I liked him. I thought his finishing was 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 extremely good. Again, physicality very, very nice. And also his passing once more, solid. Uh, a lot of these strikers that I had reviewed, I actually had them linked up with Killian and Bappi at the same time. Uh, Gomez and Morientes have been my two favourite cards so far from strikers. Uh, but but Collar as well, to be fair, 
was another card that was just insane. They'd definitely be my favorite three. I mean, all of these cards, I think, represents, uh, I think, are very, very good to be able to get your hands on them, as you can see here, going into that summary section. I think all of them are very, very enjoyable. You can go and see their individual reviews on the channel as well. Melito was their million miles away from making this list, but I, just, I thought his pace was, was really, really disappointing on that card, and I thought it was just going to be a lot better than what, um, than what he turned out to be. But on the whole, these guys... Solo cards to be able to use, and hopefully they're going to be able to review some more Foot Hero cards in the near future as well. But anyway, guys, that'll finish off this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.